All right, folks, I believe we got some bombshell information here for you about the sheriff, uh, Israel, of the Broward County Sheriff Department in Florida. He is a Muslim, and many of his de deputies are Muslims. And you're about to hear him speaking to Muslims. When people criticize us, I, I started a community outreach team. And this R and Lisa and Brian are an extension of this. And let me, I know it's been a, a long, uh, you know, just give me two more minutes and, and, and um, I'll be finished. <clears throat> when we put this team together, a couple of people in the media criticized me. And they said, the sheriff's bringing his friends together and bringing them on to the police department. And I remember when it was on the newscast that night, I was with my mom, and only a mom could react like this. And my mom heard them say, Sheriff Israel's hiring some friends. And she goes, what do they want you to do, hire your enemies? <gasps> As only a mom could say, yes, I've hired a few friends. But I didn't hire people because they're friends. I hired people because of their hearts and their minds. You know, not everybody wants to talk to somebody who wears a gun and a badge. We're trying to get, uh, they're still a part of the community that doesn't trust us. And a lot of the reasons we're not trusted are valid. We make mistakes. There's only one perfect, you know, person, God, and you're not it and I'm not it. We make mistakes. Police make mistakes every day. And I understand that. And that's why we have to partner with our community. Why is Nizar here? Because as a man who studies Islam and as a Muslim, he's going to find out information that we can't. He's going to be able to bring information back to the community and take information from the community and bring to us. That's why the Broward Sheriffs today, we've never been more successful. You know why we've never been more successful? Because we're white, black, Hispanic, we're Muslim, we're Jewish, we're Christian. We are Broward County. And I know there are young children out here, right here today, that are looking at Nazar and they're saying, why not me? I could wear that green uniform one day. I could be a Broward Sheriff's Deputy. I could be a firefighter. And that's my goal. If I had one prayer for this Ramadan for, 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 forever regarding police, it's for the community and police to understand. It's not us against you. We're all us. We're working together. I'm never going to come in and tell you how to pray, where to tell your kids, to, where to send your kids to school, or teach, or, or teach your children, or what to practice. We'll never do that at the Broward Sheriff's Office. But we don't want you doing that to your neighbor either. We want people respecting each other, respecting each other's life, to live life the way they want to live, to pray who they want to live and when they want to pray, and do the things they want to do. And when we start caring about each other and respecting each other, we become a safer community. And that's what the Broward Sheriff's Office is all about. Um, again, you know, to speak uh, at, at this mosque, this temple, anytime, is an honor, but to be able to come in here and do it during the month of Ramadan, a month of atonement, the holiest month of the year, a month when we're all about family and, 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 and prayer, that's something special. Um, I thank you very much, and, 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 and I, I don't know what to say, I'm speechless, but thank you very much. All right, so... He's, uh, he's definitely uh, a Muslim, um, in my opinion. Uh, I think he said enough information there that he's a Muslim, but he started a program. Um, I don't know if this went to any other sheriff department throughout the country, but he started a program, the Promise Program, and the objective was to keep young people... Um, 
out of the police, I mean, out of the, uh, from being arrested, keep them out of jail. And so any, any student that was uh, caught for a misdemeanor um, and it wasn't a violent crime was not prosecuted. In fact, they pretty much dismissed them. So they didn't, they didn't give them a record. There was no record. And which is more than likely what happened with, um, with Cruz. Um, all these red flags, um, all these call-ins, all of these different uh, warnings went unheeded because of this new program that Sheriff Israel, uh, Sheriff Scott Israel, had implemented. And this is why he's being very shady. Um, it is because of this. Now, I'm going to play a video for you that reveals ties of uh, Sheriff Israel Scott, uh, Scott Israel um, to CARE and uh, mu other Muslim connections. And it's just, it, this is alarming because I just gave you a message about how the scripture says in Zechariah, the curse that goes over all the earth is Allah. Okay? Now, if, in fact, Sheriff Israel is not a Muslim, then he's definitely a sympathizer. Okay? But I'm going to go ahead and play this other video for you now. Now, typically, the reason for refusal to hire someone in law enforcement is confidential. We don't know why Sheriff Lamberti's office refused to hire Hamza. Full disclosure, Sheriff Al Lamberti, former Sheriff Al Lamberti, is a friend of mine. You've seen him on the show, and I am certainly going to ask him. And if allowed, hopefully he'll tell me the reasons they didn't hire Hamza. But Al Lamberti ran a tight ship. He cared about training. He cared about integrity in his agency, unlike Scott Israel. There's a lot of disturbing, incredibly disturbing information coming out on this deputy, Zahra Hamze. Now, deputies I've spoken in the agency don't really understand why Hamze is there. He's not a particularly active road deputy or police officer. He's not uh, a well-known investigator or considered particularly competent. But what he does seem to do is bring Scott Israel to radical mosques. He brought Scott Israel to one mosque in an area of Florida called Pembroke Pines, just on the west side of Broward County, only about 20, 30 minutes outside of downtown Fort Lauderdale, a mosque with ties to Al-Qaeda, a mosque with ties to terrorist Jose Padilla. He's brought him to other radical mosques, and there are photos of Sheriff Scott Israel with his arm around Hamas terrorist people introduced to him by Deputy Nazir Hamza. Yet every time there's criticism of Hamza, Scott Israel rushes to his defense and no one understands why. Could it be for votes? Could it be he's getting money from the Muslim community? Could it be because Scott Israel is a far left Democrat? And like many far left Democrats, like Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who is a congresswoman in Broward County, Florida, an ally of Sheriff Scott Israel, they coddle terrorists. This is concerning to me because I'm not only former law enforcement, I'm a resident of Broward County, Florida. Scott Israel is my sheriff. This is why we here at The Rebel are asking you to sign our petition at www.firescottisrael.com. A petition, a petition that I'm going to personally deliver, hand deliver to the Broward County Commission, who has oversight of the sheriff's office, Attorney General Pam Bondi, who is our state's chief law enforcement officer, and Florida Governor Rick Scott, the one person who, after that review, after an investigation, has the authority, the constitutional authority, to suspend or remove Sheriff Scott Israel. We want to see him removed. We want to see him fired. But we really need to dig into these radical, radical ties this deputy, Nazir Hamze, has. And why Sheriff Scott Israel not only overlooks it, but seems 
to cooperate with it. He's going to these mosques. He's hugging these people. We're going to dig in very, very deep on my new, longer, one-hour show, Off the Cuff Declassified today, right here on The Rebel.